my name is Andy Hornby, photographer and vlogger. 17 years ago I started teaching myself photography. Today I travel the UK as a professional wedding photographer, landscape photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, my mistakes and my tips and advice. Welcome to another video. It's pitch black, it's actually uh, about quarter past one in the morning. I've just done a quick photo shoot. Now, if you saw my post of one up last night, actually I did it about 20 minutes ago. Uh, I was out shooting Neowise, the Comet. And I've got to say, I think I may have just stumbled upon the Holy Grail. Uh, so this video, let me get into this video. It's, it's all about getting the Comet. And was, I saw a few posts on, on, I think it was a landscape page on Facebook about people saying that you have to go to dark sky sites to see this thing and, and get get decent pictures of it. Actually you don't, I'm in the middle of Portsmouth, there's a lot of uh, light pollution and there's still a few clouds in the sky, give or take, and I think I've got a pretty good shot of it. I won't really know until I get back. Unfortunately, cameras, the screens on the back of your cameras, they're backlit, so they're generally lighter than what you think they're gonna be. Uh, I generally use my histogram at night, so I know kind of if I've got details in the stars, that kind of stuff. I knew where I wanted to be, uh, sort of the angle of where I wanted to be, almost. I was a bit further nearer the Spinnaker Tower, because that's where I'm at. I'm at shooting the Spinnaker Tower. Uh, I was by the camber, by the docks, and to get the Spinnaker Tower in and near wise, I had to use a 35mm. I bought it with me anyway, just in case. But it looked really far away, so I didn't want to be... Oh, I just didn't. I didn't just didn't like the composition. There were a load of kids around down there, so I moved down towards the square tower, a bit further along from square tower, to get a picture a bit further away. And I managed to get it. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I managed to get the the comet sort of going through the top of the Spinnaker Tower. It didn't quite go above it. It come down a, a couple of degrees and went through the, the top of the Spinnaker Tower. So I got it pretty spot on. I would have liked it to be on the tip of the Spinnaker Tower. That would have been amazing, but I think for the amount of uh, judgment you need and the height I would have needed to be in uh, to shoot it at this time of night, it, it wouldn't have worked. I probably would have got it if I'd done it earlier on, maybe about 11 o'clock and gone a bit further around somewhere in town. Uh, but then it'd been too light. I, I wanted to make sure it was really dark you know, if you're at a dark sky site, you could probably shoot this thing from about 11 o'clock onwards. You wouldn't be able to do that in town. It's way too much light pollution. So I had to wait for the darkest point of the night, which is between midnight and one, give or take. I think about 20 past midnight and about 20 past one uh, was the darkest time of the of the night because the sun will start coming, creeping around the horizon soon. Really happy. Really, really happy. This is the first trip out I've had since... Oh God, I think since my uh, my going live down at the shipwreck back in March, I haven't been out. Baby was born three weeks ago and I've been busy with baby, not got a lot of videos out. This I'm hoping gonna have out tomorrow at some point. I need to get some sleep. Absolute knack, I'm not getting any sleep because I've got a newborn baby, that kind of stuff. But yeah, awesome. This comet is gonna be around and gonna be visible enough to get pictures of it at least for another two or three weeks. So you find a, a, a night when there's no clouds around. It doesn't matter if you're in town. <coughs> I've used two apps to find this thing. The first one was uh, a Stella, Stellatography, Stella, Stellaris, some of that. I'll put a thing up here uh, and show you what it is. I used that to find where it was. It's in the southern sky at the moment. Uh, and depending on where, where you are in the UK, it's slightly different. It's like the tide, it doesn't really hit the same time and location it's like it kind of it kind of goes across so you'd have to work out where it's going to be in your sky it's you generally uh look look direct south on on stellar on this stellar eyes well i can't think what it's called sorry it's too early in the morning too late at night uh and then just slightly to the left by about 15 to 20 degrees it's going to be around there somewhere and it is on there and then all i did was use the photo pills app to determine where i wanted to be at the time I wanted to be at that time and used it's pretty good it's got an inbuilt function that shows you how to uh, uh, shows you your, your uh, focal length of your lens and the, the field of view that the focal length of your lens is going to give you 
and originally like I said I wanted to be a bit closer to spinning guitar and that kind of worked for a wider lens uh, but it didn't work for the 85mm and I, I wanted to use a slightly longer lens so I could, I could make it make the compression a little bit better with the with the Comet looking a little bit closer to the Spinnaker Tower. I hope that makes sense. I've got other videos that explains that kind of stuff. So yeah, they're, they're the two apps I used. Really easy. Uh, honestly, Photo Pills app is a fantastic app to get. And uh, yeah, did a really good job. Loved it. Got some awesome images. I'm going to head on home now. By the way, I used my new A7R4. So these, uh, uh, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the resolution of this camera is like 63 megapixels. I used that on purpose because it means I can potentially zoom in even further and not lose any detail on that comet. Uh, especially for the for the pictures where the comet's going past the Spinker Tower, I could potentially use those and it, you know really zoom in and get some really nice pictures. Hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to shoot off now. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a really short one. If you didn't enjoy it, please please whack a thumbs up on it. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get updates every time I upload a new video. Uh, it's coming thick and fast now. I've got loads of videos coming out. I've got a video coming out soon of the behind the scenes of the uh, photo shoot I did with my missus just before she gave birth. So it's a really nice baby bump shoot. I've done a couple of those and there's a few on my channel already. Uh, so have a look out for those. And yeah, I hope to see you on another video soon. Take care. Get out there and uh, uh, get some astrophotography under your belt. I'll see you boys and girls soon. Take care. Ah. It's still here. Nice. It's good that you're still here because I want to tell you a little something. Those people who are avid followers of me, I want to give a little something back. And to do that, it means working alongside you online because a lot of you can't make it to my workshop. So I've just set up a Patreon account. It is patreon.com forward slash Andy Hornby Photos. So Patreon is a platform where we can create stuff together, even if you're halfway across the, the globe. And I can learn and teach alongside you, literally alongside you. There's so many things I could do to help you get your photography just to that next level. It is awesome. If you can make it to one of my workshops, I've got a website. Go to ahphotographyworkshops.uk and have a look, see what I've got going on. But if you can't make it to one of my workshops, Patreon is a really good platform where we can create stuff together and we can take your photography to another level. So if you like what I'm doing and you want me to learn alongside yourself, see you there. Take it easy, have a good day. Bye.